kind of a matchup I, I would avoid if I was just, like playing more. Okay. Go. Oh, okay. We're getting into the match, I think. Yep. CC. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Oh, it looks like White got stuck in his movement. Uh, I kind of feel nice. like the more swingy you are in this matchup, it, it's actually kind of good. Oh, that should be dead. Yep. Uh, looks like, sorry, uh, Kikoho is white and Zeker is black, according to info. Yep. Oh, I'm not sure what he was going for with that F-Smash, but... Oh, a little bit of lag. Okay. Yeah. Oh, is that... Oh. Go is really coming up swing. Side yeah. It looks like nice he's, Is he gonna go for a... Uh, okay, Swordsman Plank? gonna go for something with the invisible ceiling. Yeah, same. <laughs> Oh, nice. nice. Okay. It seems like Kikoho is pretty, uh... Well, I'm not sure if it's him playing the matchup more confidently, or also just playing the stage pretty confidently. Mm -hmm. I think Martha is, like, the best character in the game on FOD. I have been inclined to agree, actually. Wow. And this, this is also the great. shittiest situation to be in, uh... Have, when you're like losing a Marth Ditto is when they're above a hundred and you're at mid percent, your next stock can evaporate, but you're not really sure when their your next right. opening is actually gonna come. Right. Marth right is in a ditto, like percent dependent. But oh, it can work both it. ways. He almost got downered there. <laughs> yeah, exactly. The Unteckable too. Mm -hmm. I think that was supposed to be an upshot. Having a lot of trouble getting down. Kikoho looking really confident in this match. Yeah, his execution's looking pretty solid, and I like the the juggles and mix-ups he's going for for the most part. Yeah. I'm watching. I'm watching Zeker now to kind of see what he's going for, and he's he's a little bit more lost. He's whiffing a lot of moves and just kind of doing his default retreats. It doesn't seem. Yeah, like that grab, for example, right? Just kind of like purposeless. We're going to see if he can clean it up in the next game, but I don't... I'm not very confident in him right now. That uh, should be it. Yeah. I feel like that's, um... It wasn't necessarily a good refresh there, but when people do a jump back refresh on the ledge against Marth, it kind of, kind of clues you into how much Marth experience they have. Yeah, yeah, that's like a... Yeah, that's definitely like a, a sort of a, not necessarily good in the matchup thing, but experience in the matchup thing. Yes, exactly. Ooh, nice. That's the first thing I saw Kikoho do in the last match, and it's also the first thing I think should happen at the beginning of almost every Marth Ditto, is like a, going for a CC. Right, the ASDI down counter attack. It was very smooth. You can tell he's like very confident at it. Down smash? Nope. Okay. Mm. That works. Falling up air. Okay. Good job getting down. Uh, side B's for. I feel like Kikoho is very confident from the previous match, so he might just be doing doing the things that feel make him feel good. Ooh. And let's see how quickly Zeker can clean it up. Okay. Nice. Didn't even get to finish the thought. Yeah. But Kikoho just sort of always seems to be ready with like a different mix-up. Mm -hmm. And as as we said earlier, got the oh, yeah. CCs on lock. Right. That, that's a thing that like reminds you of like even the Mars hold in on their own fares. Okay. Oh, I think he should have. I think F Smash would have just uh, ended it. Yeah. Okay, got a little lucky on the kill, but let's see what he can do with this lead. Oh, Ooh, that's. I don't know. Yeah, that, that back air had to have been a mistake. That's like a free grab. Right. Not dead yet. Never mind. Zeker just. Zeker's like, you know, it just doesn't seem as. Like. He's not doing enough things that really matter and I feel like the, this game is still close but I, I'm not really um it doesn't inspire a lot of confidence as to how he's gonna do this 
Kikoho takes like the advantage state and then just like takes it for all it's worth as much as yeah. possible. Yeah. Wow. Feels Is like that a Kiko thing? Kikoho's kind of like his movement is like more slippery and just the the mix-ups he's going for feel more real. Mm hmm Just like much higher reward. Yeah. Oh. Uh, ooh. Okay. Yeah, like see like Okay. Peter will yeah, get the yeah. conversion, but he won't necessarily take it. Uh he I think he wanted to ASDI down there. Yeah. Live in one more time. Oh that's oh, uh, he's trying off. to get the ASDI down again. Yeah. Wow. Ledge hop counter. I actually think that is a pretty real or good slash decent mix up. Uh, I do. I do. Part. Yeah. I I had, uh, attack mark off the ledge a lot, so I've definitely been hit by ledge hop counter a lot. Oh no. Was that? Uh, no, that was just wave dash. Okay. All right. Um, solid I team mean, by Kikoho. Yeah. He's looked way more in control, and I really liked his uh, conversion a lot more. De definitely just had, um, you know, better openings per conversion rate. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we don't need necessarily need the slippy stats to have known that. Yeah. Um, and uh, Kikoho is going to move on to fight Ginger. Yep. And I feel like. In that match too, like it felt like Kikoho. I don't want to say he was doing crazy stuff because like it wasn't uh, the craziest thing I'd say was like the letting the side bees rip, but it just felt.